Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go over to those charts. Um, yes, Bitcoin on the four hour, as we were doing yesterday evening's video, that, that was when we were getting this pump up into, uh, well, into this zone we've got going here. Um, but yes, swiftly rejected, back down and well, um, if we hold, if we hold around this area, that's that's not the worst, not the worst looking, um, not the worst looking formation we could be in. Um, obviously, it's quite, it's very, it's very small margins here off the back of quite a big move up. We'll just draw this horizontal in here. Um, so, I mean, it's not. I don't know whether I'd want to look at this and think, well, we've got support here now, um, formed, formed from here. Um, but it, it's obviously looking, um, looking, it's looking more good than it is looking bad, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we've got to kind of watch out for this level, watch out for this level more so, I, I would say. And um, this is a level that we've had joining in for a while. And if we do lose this level, which is around 11,300, then I think we will get that back test down to, um, down towards 11,000. And that, um, I guess that's seeing me gap fill as well. Um, not that we would need to close the gap because obviously we know we've got gaps below us also further below us too um but yeah just um we could we could quite easily come down and feel that i mean that would be like a good level for us to base out at um trade sideways a bit and then start to push on from it would look very healthy in the price action and um, that's not necessarily what has to happen though like i said we can we can literally hold this high line hold this high line that we've got now um i mean a lot of it does come down to stock markets and the dollar if the stock markets stay where they are or keep going up and the dollar stays where it is or or goes further down then i don't think we will realistically get a test down um, I think we're just going to keep on floating our way upwards up until a point that we do get a more um, um, a more serious correction in one of those markets, or well, obviously both will probably be at the same time. But yeah, and then we would then get a a more um, a more serious pullback in Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, where that pullback will come from, I mean that that's basically the name of the game at the moment. Um, obviously, when we're in this sort of zone, the target or realistically has to be the top. That would be. Um, that would be um, potentially where a lot of algos are going to be um, um, set to sell um, at the top of the range. So, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if we make our way up there. Do we just sort of play out the bottom of this range and then move then move to the top half? Or do we move straight to the top half, play out there, come back to the bottom half? Um, I mean, all I will say is that realistically, I don't expect us to take out 12K and start going um, further until we have um, had some sort of a back test somewhere from a certain level to a certain level in this range and then some um some price di price digestion in this range to sort of confirm it as a level that um that um that the buyers and sellers are comfortable price price basically being at um, we're going over to the dxy um, as you can see dxy uh dollar index having a little bit of a having a little bit of a bounce um we did basically bounce off 409 um then reject that straight back down and then bounce back off the same level again um so yeah um obviously that is um that gives us a clear level now that if we do break that we'll definitely expect lower values um but but realistically are we just going to look for a back test of this of this um the level we broke down from much in the same way when price action does stair step down i mean you can see broke down back test broke down back test broke down broke down and then you can often get a back i mean you will often get a back test and then um potential rejection and break down it's just how markets it's just how markets move um, but yeah, obviously, could that could we break back above this, get back into this level, and start making moves to the upside? Yeah, we could, we could, um, and then obviously we'd have a low, a higher low, and a higher low, and obviously a high, a higher high, and then we'll potentially be going for a higher high. So that um, that possibility is not out of the window um, just yet. Um, so yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, silver um, having a little bit of a a little bit of a pullback, but gold um, gold well gold having a little bit of pullback, but I think the um, gold silver ratio has gone up a little bit. Um, yeah, it has gone up a little bit here as you can see. Um, but yeah, they're they're sort of, sort of hanging in there. Oil is um, oil probably is the um, the more concerning one for the overall health of the overall more traditional markets. Um, I think this needs to start making its way back up and take out these 41s and start to make progress towards these um, 43s. Um, if we don't, if we fail here and start to come down, then things will start to look um, start to look deflationary again. And that will obviously be um, bullish for the dollar, bearish for stocks, and it will, will not be looking too good. S&P futures, um, well, quite rightly having a call back at the pullback, a call off at this level. Um, I mean, they've been um, they've been <laughs> working extraordinarily hard to get us up this high. So this is um, this is not anything 
Uh, not anything untowards. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily want to draw a horizontal here, but you can kind of see the level we're at. So we either bounce here or we bounce here. Or we welcome all the way back and back, back actually back test this level because again there were no back tests in this level. If we if we don't get support here, we could get support back down here. But they're quite big moves, but we've had quite a big move up. But that wouldn't necessarily again be the worst thing to to get bought up there, and definitely not the worst thing to get bought up here. Which um well just based on how far we are away, I mean that you would guess this would be the most likely if we are going to remain bullish. Um, so yeah, that is it really. We'll have a quick look at um at Ethereum, see how um how she's doing. Um Ethereum got a bit of a bearish looking candle there on the four hour. Um so obviously taking a lot of that candle gave us some downside. I mean that's a that's a toppy looking candle. So we will be looking for to form some sort of um some form of a um a um coming down to find some support somewhere. I mean we'll draw it here. Could it be this level? Um it could be um or could it just be could it be a bit lower could it be around this level it could be this level also so we'll draw them in we're looking to get caught at one of these levels um ethereum um satoshi pairing ethereum satoshi pairing um not looking um quite as 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 um like it wants to pull back um and yeah i mean we got yeah it's not looking so bad i mean this is um not looking too bad here to be honest uh, obviously we've had the one drive up the two drives up you know how very often we look for them to come in threes are we looking for a third one obviously the um the uh, dollar parents had a one two three already um so so yeah maybe you are going to get some um ethereum movement up against bitcoin which you would expect if we're gonna if we're transitioning into a a well just a more generally apprehensive um crypto market to a generally more bullish one um and then we'll obviously have risk on risk on which will obviously be ethereum outperforming bitcoin um so yeah that is it guys remember this is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today